Peavine Trail. That's what brings us together this morning. It is a great trail, particularly for people who don't feel like they're comfortable doing all the up and down, and they don't want to go as far out as the river, or say it's been raining and the river water's high. This is perfect. This is a flat one. Well, why is it flat? Because it was the railroad track bed, and railroads can't go up and down. They have to go at a very gradual rate. So therefore, this is a gradual uh, trail in terms of elevation, essentially, essentially flat. But it gives you another eco niche as well. You've got the eco niche out there at the river. You've got the one that goes up and down over near the hospital and the Y. And now you've got the Peavine. Now, yes, the first 40 yards or so are invaded by the dreadful kudzu. And if any of you want to take an attack on some of it. Now, you can't do it all at one time. You may want to. I want to, but you can't. But if you want to help get this kudzu out of here, there are ways that can do that. Uh, that don't involve spraying any sort of noxious things. But once you get past that, you've got a great variety. One of the fun, fun trees that you will see on here is the tulip poplar, one of the most popular trees in all of Western North Carolina. This is the leaf of the tulip poplar tree. And the thing that kids especially like to see, and if you know how to do it, they'll, they'll love it. You just pluck a leaf, you pluck it with the stem attached, you break off the stem, then you simply make three little folds and stick the stem through the fold. Then you've got a drinking cup. And the kids will love it. They love to drink water out of the tuba poplar leaf. Easy to do, so try that. I want to thank all of you for your support, particularly, particularly McDowell Trails Association. I can't think of another organization in McDowell County that has motivated more people and inspired and energized more people than McDowell Trails. Uh, so we thank you for that. I want to thank Representative Dudley Green who's here today, our legislator in the North Carolina General Assembly. <laughs> Dudley has been very kind and very supportive and he's accessible. And uh, I'm grateful to Dudley for what he's doing as our representative in Raleigh. Not if he voted for taking okay. funds from these thank you. school Except public We're not discussing that today. And thank giving you. school we're vouchers not discussing to the rich. That today. I want to thank you for being here at the Peavine Trail. That's what brings us here today is those things that have, we have in common. And uh, at this point, to get into some of the particulars and some of the details, I'm going to call upon our city manager, Bob Boyette, to give you some of that. But thank you for being here. I feel like I should be singing or something <laughs> with this headset. I don't think anybody wants that. Now. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. Appreciate everybody uh, being here for this great occasion. Uh, I get the pleasure of thanking people, and we have a lot of people to thank. Um, the work that's been done for this first phase of the Peavine Trail improvements obviously didn't happen by itself. Uh, we had the support and help of many different people and organizations. The work that was completed were, was based on recommendations made in the Peavine Trail Master Plan. That planning effort was facilitated by Destination by Design with funding support from the McDowell Tourism Development Authority. Uh, and I'll mention the members of the Peavine Trail Steering Committee. Uh, Carol Price uh, with McDowell TDA, Ginger Webb with West Marion Incorporated, Steve Pierce with the McDowell Trails Association, Pat Cook and Oscar Creech with the McDowell Trails Association, Deborah Workman from the Marion East Community Forum, and Billy Martin with the City of Marion and also representing the McDowell Cemetery Association.